This is a follow-up to a video I posted a short time ago in which I showed this. This is a modification I'd made to my CNC coil winding machine. And um, the intention of this is to allow me to do dual windings. That's where um, you wind two wires side by side at the same time. And um, this is uh, to be fitted in place of the standard uh, dispense nozzle. And uh, all it really is is a, a dual nozzle that um, can be adjusted by rotating the two nozzles to adjust the separation of the two wires. And um, it worked fairly well. And uh, in the previous video I said that uh, it would be better if I had some of the proper nozzles. So this machine normally uses some very nicely made nozzles that have a, a kind of ruby at the end and um, it's very low friction, doesn't damage the wire and also lasts a very long time. And uh, But I said uh, that uh, I'd have to buy two of these and um, they're not ridiculously expensive but my budget at the time wouldn't really stretch to me doing that and um, I did say that um, at some point I would like to try and make one of the dual nozzle dispensers using these proper nozzles. Um, the manufacturers of this machine saw that video and they were kind and generous enough to send me a couple of nozzles along with some other parts and um, they're not for this of course these are just two standard nozzles and um, as I say, it's very uh, nice of them to do that. And uh, the company's called uh, UK CNC, and they've got a whole range of this type of machine. Uh, in particular, their uh, new version 5 uh, Mark 5 machine is well worth having a look at if you're looking for a coil winder. It's fairly similar to this, except that it has, uh, it's far more advanced, but it has um, an extra axis. So, as well as just the rotational axis and the X travel, it's also got a Y travel where the uh, the nozzles can be automatically moved in and out under uh, software control. Uh, obviously I don't have that, so I'd have to adjust this manually. Um, but uh, what I want to show in this uh, video is the uh, use of this and um, how it uh, compares to the uh, cheap and cheerful version that uh, I'd made. They did send me some uh, other carriers as well, but because this is of course far larger than will fit into a standard carrier, I had to machine one from uh, scratch. So I made this up and uh, the idea of this of course is that uh, this fits into this part and then you can uh, adjust the rotation to set the uh, X separation of the two wires that are being wound and uh, you just set it so that, if you imagine looking vertically down, the um, wires are separated by the diameter of the wire that's being used. And then this of course just sits in the position like the standard head. So uh, thanks to the company for sending those to me, it's uh, really useful. Uh, I'll put a link uh, in the description uh, down at the bottom. So if you do want to go and have a look at their website, uh, it's well worth um, considering these machines if you wind a lot of coils. So what I'll do now is get this fitted and um, we'll just quickly demonstrate it winding a coil. Okay, I've got the machine set up to wind a dual coil. Um, not quite sure if you can see clearly how this is arranged, um, but we have the uh, two wires coming in from the spool holder at the back. One comes in through the top over the top of the either pulley and then underneath the uh, tension uh, rollers and then the other one does the reverse it comes in through the bottom and then uh, over the top of the felt tension rollers then the two wires go through uh, one each of the two nozzles i've got them adjusted to give the correct separation of the two wires so we'll give this a quick run see how it looks And so, as you can see, it makes an extremely nice job of winding the coil. I've got the spacing slightly too far apart. I've got it set to 0.75. Of course, you do 
have to set up the uh, advance for twice the normal wire uh, uh, diameter. I've got it set to 0 0.75, I think it needs to be maybe 0 0.73, very slight um, excess spacing, um, but that's just the setup of the machine um, or the software. Uh, but uh, as you can see it makes an extremely nice job, it's very fast and um, of course we can wind um, dual coils and this is something I do quite a lot of, um, do a lot of RF uh, repairs and that sort of thing. Uh, but even in some power transformers this is something that uh, you want to do so it's quite a, uh, a nice um, uh, modification to make them to the machine. So uh, all it really consists of is the core that the nozzles sit in so this is just a, uh, it's actually 3D printed, I might make one out of brass but these work uh, just as well. So this um, obviously fits into the, uh, you get uh, two nozzles that fit in and then there's a couple of grub screws that hold these in place and I can of course now swap these out uh, with nozzles uh, of any size so I can uh, wind different uh, diameter wires. Uh, and then it's just really making up a, a carrier that uh, will suit this and allow it to be rotated. So thanks again to UK CNC for sending me uh, the nozzles and the parts. That's much appreciated and um, I've always had good support from them so uh, I highly recommend them. And uh, in particular, as I've said before, if you do a lot of coil winding these really do save a huge amount of time.